Hey Fire Signs, this is for Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. I am going to be doing a love reading for you guys on current, and then I'm going to do singles. So I'm just going to, I'm going to make it a quick video. I'm not going to be too much. Alright, so, the world, the ending of a cycle and the beginning of a new one. I feel like something that you have been going through within this love situation doesn't have to be a breakup, but something is ending. So it could be the way that you do things, the way that you talk to each other. The, you know, maybe somebody's putting a little bit more effort into things, okay? But for you, you have the Three of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands, the Five of Swords. I feel like you're feeling defensive, right? Um, the Five of Swords, no, not defensive, defeated. You feel like nothing that you that you do is working, right? You might be feeling like a lot of people are against you. The Queen of Wands is, you know, five, um, Leo. But um, this is just saying that you need to make some bold moves, make some harsh, you know, decisions or whatever. You might also be dealing with somebody who's a drama queen or you might be a drama queen. Somebody just takes something a little bit that's small that turns it into something big. It could mean that. It could mean that. It doesn't mean for everybody. But um, and you got the three of pentacles. This can mean third party. This can mean third party situation. Or it could just mean that you're trying to rebuild something. Rebuilding um, a love. Rebuilding yourself. Rebuilding from... You know, things like ending. Okay, then you have for your person is raising consciousness, eight of swords, four of swords. Your person feels stuck. They feel like um, they might take a lot of breaks away from you. Four of swords is somebody who kind of just like, you know, needs to take a break, stays away. The four of swords is somebody who's trapped in their own mind, trapped in their own thoughts, can't really like... You know, think of what they want to do. Very, like, struggling, right? Not wanting to see things for how it is. Raising consciousness. They might be going through an awakening. Kind of, like, seeing a little bit more um, of... Because I've been doing you guys' readings lately, right? And you guys are opening up to more, um, you know, of your abilities, your psychic abilities and stuff like that. And listening to your intuition. Maybe that's helping this person um, open up themselves as well. What else is going on? Queen of Pentacles, focusing on yourself. Ten of Pentacles, you're focusing on your career, you're focusing on your um, stability, on your money, on yourself, on healing, on doing what you got to do for you. That's good. Actions and advice. Strength card in the Empress. This is Libra and Leo. All right, but this is saying that you really need to pull your strength together. You're okay with, you know, just by you. You may be pregnant, but this doesn't mean so. This can also just say, you know, focus on yourself. Do what you got to do. The Queen of Pentacles and the Empress is somebody who's, you know, worried about themselves. They're healing. They're at the top, right? They, they're doing what they got to do. They don't really let other things affect them. I feel like that's what you need to do is just worry about you. Focus on you. It might be hard because you got the strength card. It's not going to be an easy thing to do. But I feel like, you know, you'll be okay. Outcome, the high priestess and the hermit. The outcome is time away people, places, and from people, places, and things to be able to do your healing work. The high priestess is just about, you know, opening up to more um, of your spiritual gifts. This is also about listening more to your intuition, especially with the hermit card. He's a healer. He's somebody who helps other people see the light in the dark, okay? So this is like you. So... I feel like you're going to be coming out into your abilities, actually, even more. Even though that's a love reading, I feel like that is also part of the reading, obviously. Alright, so I'm going to pull some of these cards for the love cards for you guys. And now I'm going to do singles. Okay. We got photographs, looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia, making new memories. You might be thinking about your past a lot, okay? Nostalgia is about, like, past, um, you know, circumstances and love. Um, looking at your photos, it could also mean that you, got, you guys are missing, you know, the way that it used to be. And then you have hammer, sabotage, rebuilding. I did say three of pentacles for rebuilding, right? So rebuilding, interrogation, repetitive, persistent, working on it. So whatever you're doing, you might be preparing the relationship. You might be preparing yourself out of like a hard relationship that you just got out of. Because I've been doing your readings lately, so I know. And then I'm going to pull one of these. But just know that whatever you're doing is working. Just keep your eye on the prize and keep on moving forward. You got this. Then you have... 
love and focus. <laughs> so it just says, like I said, keep your eye on the prize and it says focus. Like keep your focus, all right? And also just, you know, learn how to love yourself. I don't know, I'm not saying that you guys don't, but it can just say that you need to love yourself. This can also mean that new love is coming in for you. Yep, so ooh, one of these cards. Defense. King of Fire. Okay, so you're coming out in your own reading. King of Fire says this represents a masculine energy or sign who could be an astrological fire sign or have dominant fire signs in their natal chart. A King of Fire displays traits of passion, intensity, creativity, love for community, and leadership. He is fiercely protective. He brings transformation, transmission, is daring, dynamic, and enthusiastic that for you. And then you got defense. Defense postures can lead to unnecessary arguments, but do not be, no, but not defending your position can cost you more than you can afford. This can also represent legal defense as you were someone you know is having to defend themselves. Don't give in to false information or guilt trips. Defend your position, build your case. Okay, so if somebody's trying to, um, like say if you're going to court or whatever, or you're, you have some type of issue, don't allow other people to, um, Sway you, all right? Stay on your lane, <laughs> all right? And then this is for singles. This is, yeah. Confidence and growth. Growth is about finding your safe spot, your sanctuary, going to where it's calm so you can get your thoughts together, okay? So maybe this can also say maybe you'll need somebody at like a grove, like something that looks like this, like that. Who knows, like in nature, right? It might be in like a, a walk or like on the beach or in the woods or I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but then you have confidence. So this is just saying, you know, you need to really believe in yourself. See yourself as beautiful just as way that other people do. And also don't allow other people to ruin your confidence and take your confidence away because you don't deserve that. Um, all right, so for <clears throat> the person, well, I was going to say for you. So hold on, let me just put that back as the tower came out. Maybe that means that change needs to happen first. So hold on, let's see, for your person coming in. Eight of Wands, which is a message. Yeah, the change needs to happen. Maybe you need to cut somebody out of your life first. But I do feel like with the Eight of Wands, there is communi communication coming in fast. All right, so what else? The Queen of Pentacles, this person may be really um, a hard worker, goal-oriented, um, really focused on their money, on their career, on their stability. The Ace of Cups, this person might be like um, what you've been asking for, what you've been waiting for, right? That is like a gift from the universe to be able to live out your dreams. So it could be like a new love coming. Well, obviously, this is a love reading. So... <laughs> So, it's probably somebody that you've been asking for. The chariot, all right, for movement. What else? This person might be an air sign, Aquarius, um, Libra Gemini, and it can also be um, earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, right? I think the chariot is Cancer, if I'm right. But you have the three of wands, which is talking about patience. It's like... You know, you got the chariot. I feel like you want to move fast, but you get the three of wands, which is asking for patience, okay? So, um, you, you just got to wait a little bit longer, all right, for this person. Raising consciousness. This person's going through an awakening of their own, all right? They might be opening up to their own spiritual gifts, too. I feel like everybody is doing that now. It's like so much more, it's so more calm. Can I not talk? so much more common nowadays that people are like opening themselves up to like you know their spiritual gifts and really like being open and being able to talk about it so that's cool so i feel like this person is really really getting in tune with themselves like they're focused on themselves you know it's all good cards here right? the ten of pentacles this person could be a long-term situation this person might be like you, you know somebody that's going to really be there for you know who knows forever the Knight of Pentacles, which is the longest part of the deck, right? I feel like you waited a very long time. This might be somebody from the past. It might not be. But I feel like you have waited a very long time for this. Maybe you've been hoping and praying for this. Maybe you feel like you've done all... No, and this is also about doing all the steps that needs to be done. So I feel like you've done all the work. He's done all the work. She's done all the work. Whoever's done all the work, right? And it's like they're going to come in for you. 
a ten of swords, I do feel like they're going through an ending of something, a stressful period, right? But I feel like maybe that is the reason why the universe wants you to wait, because they're kind of recouping over some type of stuff that is going on in their lives. Yeah, the hangman. I feel like they were kind of used and abused, basically, like, you know, wasn't really treated right, wasn't really, you know, um, respected, kind of walked all over, right? But I feel like this person that's coming in for you is going to be what you've been asking for, especially with the Ace of Cups, right? I'm going to pull um, some of the love cards, too. Lightning. Sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, transformation. I do feel like both of you guys are going through a transformation at this time. And it also does say a surprise, shocking news, right? So maybe this person is going to contact you, right? And then look, at the bottom of the deck is about stability and growth and security, permanence, endurance, flexibility, right? So it's like they are focused on their, on their um, they have goals, right? Which is a good thing. So I feel like this person that's coming in is going to have their head on their shoulders. It's going to be somebody that you wanted, somebody that you've asked for. Okay, what else? What's going on? No. First light, beginning a new cycle and infinite abundance. Oh my God, infinite abundance. All right, so you're definitely going to be going through something, you know, starting a new cycle with this person. So this very well could be somebody from the past. If not, it could be from a past life. If not, it's just somebody that's going to be coming in and they're going to bring you a lot of happiness, a lot of joy, a lot of abundance. Abundance doesn't have to mean money. It can mean like a lot of love, a lot of like time spent. It can mean, you know, a lot of like conversations like this person might be very open right it's like abundance is like anything that you're getting a lot of right and i feel like it's all happy things from this person obviously we're going to have issues with everybody that we meet so i'm not saying there's never going to be an issue but i'm just saying this person that's coming in is going to bring you a lot of good things so yep that's what i got for you guys if you guys like my content please like and subscribe and toodles thank you